What's good everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Zamir from XCC Tunes. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how I use track divide list in Cubase. If you don't know what track divide list is, this is the track divide list basically. It's just another this is just another section that you can see above your project window, okay? And if you want to enable it, you have to go here. This is the track divide list button. You can just click on it. And now it disabled it so you can't see it but if you want to enable it you can just come right here and click on it and there's a shortcut key and you can use that shortcut key as well but i don't usually do that i don't want to remember the shortcut key because there's too many shortcut keys i need to remember anyway so let's get started and this is the most common way that a lot of people use divide track list where they put all the chord track video track signature track transpose, marker, arranger, um, tempo track, and so on. Everything here. That is a good way to organize your project window. And also there's another benefit of using track divide list, which is if I scroll down, I can still see my chord track here. And if I want to adjust any of the notes, I can just scroll it down and I can still see the reference here. So that is really cool. So this is the most common way a lot of people use track divide list, all right? So that's one way of using it. There's a couple of ways that I use it, so I'm gonna show you guys today. I have about 70 over tracks in this project, okay? Some of it is muted, so it's not really 70 tracks. But sometimes I work on a project that has a lot of tracks, you know, about 100 over tracks. Let's say I'm working in this section here. Let's say this is a vocal chop or, or drum section here. I want to add another drum percussion or something so let me go to the file folder here right click on the sample and go to create sampler track okay if you notice I selected the audio 2 just now before I, I added this track however the track is not added below this section here okay I have to scroll down to see this track the sampler track that I just had added okay that is such a hassle especially when you have more than 100 tracks and I don't like to use this way. So this is where divide track layers come in handy. I usually go just select this upper section here. Okay, let's say I'm working in, in this section here, right? In the middle of this project. And if I want to add a percussion sound to this section here, all I have to do is just click on this part here, this section, and right click on it, go to create sampler track. And now if you notice, this sampler track is created above not not in the project window but in the divide track list section okay and that is cool because now i can just drag this one here below like so and i can do it quickly i don't have to you know scroll down and then find the track in my opinion this is definitely the best way and fastest way to work and also you can consider this as a cheat code as well All right so that's another way that i use this divide track list. For example, I am working on a maybe a drum section right here. Okay, let's use drum as a reference. And I have a couple of drums here and then I have a few more drums right below there. Okay. If I were to drag this one track, I have to click on it and then drag it down below and I have to go and find that track, that section, the drum section and I have to kind of like, you know, place it there, okay? I hate to do this way. I really, really hate to do like this. So what I usually do is, for example, this is low booming cinematic sound. I want to bring it down to the drum section. I just bring this up to the divide track list section and I will scroll down. And now I'm at the drum section. I'll just drag it down, okay? That is much quicker, much faster. I just saved a lot of time and reduced my cortisol in my blood. Okay, so that's one way of using divide track list. The other way that I use is when I'm arranging a song. For example, let's say I'm arranging a drum section here, okay? And I want to kind of try something else, some other arrangement or some other rhythm technique, for example, right? So what I'll do is press Alt and drag it to the divide section list. So now I have a copy of this section right here. Okay, why I bring it up to divide track list 
and to another region and why it's not here, okay? Like I said, if you have an ADHD brain like me, even a small thing like this can distract you and I don't like any distraction. I like to keep it right up there. And then I'll work on it and if I see if the arrangement or the rhythm is interesting, I'll just drag it back to this section here. So I'll just select all of them and drag it back here. And if I don't like it, I just go and select them and remove them, just like so, okay? So that's three ways of using Divide Trackless in Cubase. I hope you guys find this video helpful. If you guys did, please make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, smash the like button, and share this video to every Cubase user. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.